You guys good? You guys ready to go? Yeah, Here we go. This. All right. Welcome back to Vikings Table Talk. Today, I'm with some of my friends from Nigeria and South Africa. But I'll let them introduce themselves as we get going. Can you please, Oli, introduce yourself with your name, position, and your city or country? Oli Semeka Udo, positions offensive line, and my family's from Ikengo Ogidi in uh, Anambra State. Kene Wongu, uh, positions running back, kick returner. My family's from Inewi from uh, Rama State. My name's Remy. I do not play, but I'm the dietitian, and my family's from Lagos, Nigeria. Greg Joseph, I'm the place kicker, and my family is from Johannesburg, South Africa. It's Seizio Tomewo, my family is from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm a defensive lineman. And I'm Alexander Madison, your host today. I am not from Nigeria or South Africa, but as you can see, we have an amazing bond here uh, within this team. So we're going to kick it off by having some, some food and learning about one another's culture. So Remy, can you let us know what is on the menu today? Oh, you know, my dad, thank you, Baba Tunde. Um, he has cooked us some jollof rice mm. and some Nigerian stew. Yeah, gentlemen, what do we think? Oh, it smells delicious. Oh. I like it. Yeah, stew's nice. I have to say, I haven't tried too much uh, Nigerian uh, food, but this is definitely something that I wouldn't mind eating any day of the week. So uh, I feel like off. when I grew up, I had it every day of the week. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. I wouldn't mind it. I'm telling you that much. Mm. So uh, let's kick it off with a little bit of conversation behind the meaning behind some of your very unique uh, cultural names. Mm. Um, I know that Kenne, you know, being in the running back with, room with you, you've told me uh, your full name is actually not on your birth certificate oh, yeah, because it's a little more complicated. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so my full name is uh, Kenne Chuku, and that just means thanks be to God, glory be to God almost. And uh, yeah, I just, I just take pride in my name. You know, my parents take pride in naming their ch children. So uh, for me, um, you know, I'm just a very, very grateful person. I'm grateful to be in the position I am. And I guess I'm living up to my name almost. That's nice. What about you, Oli? Uh, Oli Sameka means God is good. So definitely uh, second born in the family. Parents were excited to welcome two boys in the family. I'm sure that's what led to the uh, unique name. Yeah, my name, it means King Asazi. I have that perfect timing, so that's all really uh, all you gotta say, you know. <laughs> are, you, are you the only boy in your family? Nah, I got three sisters. I'm the youngest. So that's why you came. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that makes sense. What about you, Greg? Any meeting? Greg, Any Greg meeting? Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, pretty pretty standard. Um, but just being of the Jewish religion, so I also have a Hebrew name. Um, um, you know first and middle name, so that's, that has some meaning behind it, but we don't have to get into Oh, what's your more. middle name? Um, my middle name's Ilan, and so my Hebrew name is um, Gedalia. So Gedalia means kind of like giant, and Ilan um, is like tree and roots. Hmm. So a um, little meaning behind there in a, in a little different, different sense. I like that. Yeah. How about you? My name means God sent me to console, which I think is perfect for this team. Um, in my position, yeah, I feel like it. Um, I was supposed to be named something different because we're twins and you know in the Nigerian culture there's uh, twin names and so my mom put an X to that one but you know, here I am. I like it, I like it and have we, um, you know, just coming from that, I see a lot of you guys have a, a pretty good understanding of the background of your names. Have you always, you know, growing up embraced and knew the significance of it and how it would you know, kind of affect um, and I guess motivate you throughout your life, the significance of your, your cultural name? I would say like my mom, she always told me like, your name always has a purpose. I have to, you should always respect it. I have to, um, just take your cultural values with you when, when like you talk about your name and your family. So, mm -hmm. you know, like that's what I always try to bring and introduce myself as like my family's behind me at that, you know, Embrace it, yeah. Embrace it. I love it. And, uh, you know, I kind of have, uh, me and Greg share some of the most uh, normal names, I guess you could say, <laughs> out of the group. And, uh, you know, even just hearing sometimes when people say Alexander the Great and how that just kind of, you know, carries its own weight. Um, that alone, you know, just like you said, power in, in your name and the respect that you should have behind, uh, you know, the name that your parents chose for you. I think that's, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, so, Greg. 
You spent the first part of your life in South Africa, correct? Mm -hmm. So uh, what is your favorite memory to look back on and yeah. what from South Africa do you still carry with you today? Good question. So, you know, one of my first and favorite memories is um, a couple birthday parties. You know, all my friends, I still remember uh, friends growing up, you know, school I went to, my house um, that I grew up in. So I'd say, you know, we had a birthday party in the backyard and I just remember, you know, being a, being a kid, having fun. And then I was always playing soccer, just always running around outside, um, you know, doing something like that. So that's that's where the majority of my memories lie. And, and I think we can all agree that, you know, like parents are tough on us academically, you know, as, as Africans. Um, so I think it's just taking that and putting it into every aspect of life, um, you know, just hard work um, and trying to do things the right way. Um, you know, and learning that from my parents on how they did everything up until the point of moving to this country, um, you know, it's taught me a lot. So credit to them, I've learned a lot from them. You know, we're here, we're, we're enjoying a, a beautiful meal, tasty meal, um, kudos, mm -hmm. thanks to uh, Remy's father. Mm -hmm. What is it, if it isn't the red stew, um, that is your favorite African food? Do we have a favorite African food? Mm -hmm. And jollof rice is definitely my favorite it's African food. Jollof, like, you know, jollof. Jollof. Like, it's not even a debate. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> we, we did win the contest, by the way. Oh, we yeah. did. Nigeria. Jollof. Okay. Is there a person that you have in your family that makes it the best? Uh, my mom. My your sister, mom. She, she's a close second. Okay. Though. Yeah, she can cook. Oli, what was you eating? Uh, Back at home. Pounded yam with the uh, goosey yam. soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. Yeah, that's yeah. probably why you so big. Big <laughs> boy. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's my favorite. Uh, grandma would make that the best for me, mm -hmm. and my mom would be close second for that one for sure. Okay. My mom, she's been making um, this egg stew for us lately with some plantains, fried plantains Ooh. and egg stew. Ooh. So, you know, I love jello off, but that egg stew is just like, it's like a brunch type of meal. So yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I, I haven't tried it. I haven't had that. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, take a trip to Kenny's house. <laughs> right? Sure. Right? Christmas, you know. <laughs> so, you know, um, as you see, you know, we have a, a lot of uh, African culture on this team already. But, you know, with some of the guys that aren't even here with us today, with Will, BA, and some staff, um, there seems to just be a handful of Africans in the building. And I've been able to see it from my perspective, you know, the special relationship and bond that there is uh, between you all and just, you know, even guys like myself being able to pick your brains and, and learn uh, more about it from you guys. But uh, can some of you guys describe the bond that there is between you guys in this atmosphere? As soon as I see a Nigerian or African person, like culturally, I already kind of know how they, they kind of grew up, you know, like Thanks. just understanding like, where your mom or your dad kind of raised you in a certain sense, like probably a real strict household, you know, like nothing probably like getting by your parents, just like all parents. But at the same time, like it's kind of different when your mom and dad are Nigerian and like they're constantly harping on you to like just be your best version of yourself, you know, put your best foot forward after that. Like, you know, that's how I can relate to the Africans and Nigerians. So. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I mean, I'll just put on like, yeah, what Osazi's talking about, your parents harping on you being your best, you know, putting your best foot effort in everything you do. It's just like the academics part of that. Mm -hmm. You know, like my parents, they came to this country to uh, get their college degrees and then, you know, provide a better start for my brothers and I. But uh, the one thing they always harped on was getting that degree, you know, and, um, you know, just meeting other Africans, Nigerians, you just see that passion and that fire that it has, you know, to them when it comes to like their education and what they're passionate about and like things that just matter to them, you know, there's just like a different energy to it. Mm -hmm. They covered it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I think yeah. they, they hit the nail on the head. Yeah, I, I think, um, yeah, just like I said, seeing from an outside perspective, kind of understanding that, you know, uh, like you said, you know, everyone has the, the parents that push them to be their best, but I can definitely tell within the African culture that there is something um, just a little different that you guys can all kind of bond over and relate to each other about. So um, with that being said, I want to thank every one of you uh, for your time today. It was uh, amazing conversation learning about your guys' culture and your background and some amazing food. So uh, thank you for tuning in out there, Skull Vikings. And we're signing off here from another round of Table Talk. Mm. Oh, Y'all gotta hire him. Was, was that good? Was that good? Was he was like taking y'all in the beginning. Yeah. You know, I was a little bit on this. Like, is he gonna hey, do it or? Once I get it, we gone.
yeah, you were gone.